What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Sean Robert Johnson. As you know, I'm incarcerated at New Jersey State Prison in Trent, New Jersey. I appreciate y'all tuning in to today's episode that we got for y'all, so let's just get straight to it. So what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Prison Audio with Sean Robert Johnson. That's me, your host. And as you know, I'm incarcerated at New Jersey State Prison in Trenton, New Jersey. Don't forget to become a subscriber on both of our YouTube channels, at Prison Audio, that's P-R-I-S-O-N-A-U-D-I-O, and at Sean Robert Johnson, that's S-H-A-W-N-R-O-B-E-R-T-J-O-H-N-S-O-N. And also follow us on Instagram, at Prison Audio, and at Shaw John 1222 which is S-H-A-W-J-O-H-N-1222. And if you want to hit me up directly, then you can on JPay, that's J-P-A-Y.com, and it's put in my number, 732-464-C, State of New Jersey. Today I want to talk about Gypsy Rose Blanchard announces separation from husband three months after prison release. Gypsy Rose Blanchard and her husband have called it quits. Blanchard, who's 32 years old, announced the split with Ryan Scott Anderson on Facebook. The breakup news came just three months after Blanchard was released from Chilcoff Correctional Center in Missouri after serving more than eight years in prison for plotting to murder her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard, with then-boyfriend Nicholas Nick Goldijah. On Thursday, Blanchard shared an announcement via social media. People have been asking what is going on in my life. Unfortunately, my husband and I are going through a separation, and I moved in with my parents. I have the support of my family and friends to help guide me through this. I am learning to listen to my heart right now. I need time to let myself find who I am. She wrote in a statement obtained by people from her private Facebook, her private Facebook account. The couple tied a knot in a jailhouse ceremony with no guests in July 2022. In an interview with people ahead of her early release in December 2023, Blanchard said she planned to marry the Louisiana Middle School special education teacher again after her release. We do plan on having a reception, redo wedding with all of our family and friends, and the dress and the cake and everything because we deserve that. I deserve that. He deserves that. She said, our prison wedding was just something to where we can make our vows to each other. It was something that meant something to us, and I think the party is kind of for everyone else in us, but mostly for everyone else, too. At the time, Blanchard said she was excited about moving in with Anderson and starting their life together. I've never lived with a man, she said. I grew up with my mom, so I didn't even grow up with a dad in the house. So I'm like, I don't even know what it's like to live with a man. Blanchard was charged with the killing of her mother, Dee Dee, who was found dead in June 2015. Her then-boyfriend, Nick Goldijohn, was also charged with the slaying. After the arrest, it was discovered that Dee Dee subjected Gypsy to unnecessary medical treatments and convinced her daughter and others that her daughter had a litany of illnesses as a child. In court, it was argued Gypsy was a victim of Munchkin syndrome by proxy, a form of child abuse that involves a guardian exaggerating or inducing illness to gain sympathy. Gypsy pleaded guilty in 2016 and was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Goldie John was sentenced to life in prison without parole in 2019 following his trial conviction for first-degree murder. The Springfield News leader, KY3 and KOAM, reported at the time. Earlier this month, Blanchard shared a video on TikTok before deleting her social media platforms. In the video, she apologized to all the people that are offended with a lack of accountability the first month or so that I was out of prison and the lack of accountability in my interviews. I'm sorry. I'm learning. I take accountability for my part, and I'm saying this right now. I'm taking accountability. I did a bad thing. A source explained to people that she deleted her accounts at the advisement of her, of her parole officer so she won't get in trouble and go back to jail. So this was the article that I wanted to read for y'all today. And it's crazy because something had to happen for her, her husband to split up. Maybe I'm saying just me, my own opinion, just speculating. You know, that's what we all do at times. Maybe it's because, you know, the fame came so fast and her husband couldn't deal with that. I don't know. Maybe somebody slid her DMs. Who knows? But 
Yeah, this is what happened with Gypsy Rose. She definitely rose to fame a lot quicker than what the average person would when they come home from prison. It kind of reminds me of uh, Jeremy Meeks when he came home from prison. Shout out to him. Uh, Jeremy Meeks turned him his prison bid into a platform once he got home, and, and look what he's doing now, model, actor. So Jeremy Meeks is definitely doing it. He's definitely doing it. So it just showed that it is possible that you can go from – being in prison and doing something with your life and accumulate that fame and fortune once you get home, but you just got to continue to do the positive, put the work in, and do something productive with it. So, you know, hopefully with Gypsy sitting back at home, reflecting on herself, decompressing or whatever she is doing, that she continue just to build her life back together in the most positive way that she possibly can. And that way, as y'all say in the free world, she could be the best version of herself. But, you know, one day at a time, and I believe that she'll get there. So, you know, shout out to her for even making it home, going through what she went through as a kid, and then have to go through what she went through in prison, just being there, confined, and now she's back out in the free world. So, you know, I'm always an advocate for people being free from the joint. So definitely, definitely a good thing. Hopefully all the best with her and her husband, soon to be ex-husband, and that it works out for them in due time or their own individual journey that they will take going from this point forward. So if you have any questions or comments about this, call 1-800-366-0911. That's 1-800-366-0911. Or send an email to stories at prisonaudio.com. That's S-T-O-R-I-E-S, the at sign, P-R-I-S-O-N-A-U-D-I-O.com. And like I said, don't forget to become a subscriber for free on both of our YouTube channels, at Prison Audio and at Sean Robert Johnson, as well as following us on Instagram, at Prison Audio and at Sean John 1222. That's S H A W J O H N 1222. And like I said, if you need to hit me up directly, I gave you my JPay information. My number is 732 in the state of New Jersey. So once again, I always appreciate when y'all tune in. Always appreciate your comments and questions that y'all leave. And I'm looking forward to the next batch of comments and questions I'm going to be doing soon. So shout out to all of y'all for helping the platform grow. And I definitely appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Prison Audio with Sean Robert Johnson. That's me, your host, and everybody have a good day.